because as long as we're trapped uh, on on this commodity price roller coaster, uh, there are certain limitations to what any government can do, uh, and there's no easy way off that roller coaster. What intrigues me. You know, I, I had some very angry right-wing person write to me this week and say, you know, you're probably not even a real Alberta. You probably don't even live here. You don't understand anything about the Alberta economy. And, you know, <laughs> this is like an unprecedented disaster. And I'm like, no, sweetie. Um, <laughs> see, because I'm old and I was, you know, I, I remember the National Energy Program when we had these same kinds of calamitous oil price shocks and interest rates were 17%. You know, anybody who's lived in Alberta for longer than a generation knows. Remembers $12 oil. Remember, you know, I mean, this is not the first time this has happened, and it's not going to be the last time this happens. And every time it happens, we go, oh, no, the sky is falling. The long game is that eventually the price of oil will rebound, and then we'll do this all over again. Get out the bumper stickers. Please, God, <laughs> send another boom. The uh, difference is, of course, people are blaming the NDP for everything now. Like the right wingers are saying it's the NDP's fault. Mm -hmm. uh, they're almost blaming the NDP for the price of oil going down. Uh, but they're blaming them, of course, for everything else. But there's that, there is that sort of hidden, maybe, message that they really do think the NDP has caused all these problems. But if you go back, Harper was saying how what a disaster the NDP government was for Alberta, with, like, with the days of them being sworn in. Mm. Said, of course, it's political, uh, for political ends. Um, but having said all that, this is still going to be a huge problem for the NDP. If the price of oil continues to languish for the next two or three years, people will get upset. And in the past, we've seen Albertans blame the government. What happens, they'll toss out Don Getty. They'll put pressure on Stalmac to get out. They will blame their political leadership for the price of oil going down. You know, people, I, I saw a, a meme floating around Facebook from, uh, I think they were like Occupy Democrats. So these are like, you know, people who are working for Bernie Sanders and, mm -hmm. and Hillary Clinton, <clears throat> praising, uh, oh, you know, Barack Obama and saying, you know, under Obama's administration, he's brought down the price of gasoline. And, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, that's not how that works. Uh, but, you know, if, if, if people, I guess, you, you know, people don't want complicated answers. They want simple answers. And uh, if you're looking for a simple answer, then I guess you're not going to ever solve the problem.